Hey guys, it's Junior. Welcome back to Horsepower Warehouse. Two weeks ago, I gave you guys just a little glimpse of the very last split window to ever be made. It's in our possession. And then last week, I actually showed you two more C2 acquisitions that we had, a 67 Marlboro Maroon car and a 64 Saddle Tan car that came in. So surely, surely I have run out of new C2s to show you guys, right? Well, you're correct. So this week we are actually talking about Harley Davidson golf carts. I know there's a lot of bikers slash golfers out there. Um, and for, for those of you guys that want to click on this type of content, I mean, I've got it hammered down for you guys today. And before you click away, I'm just kidding. Let me show you this 67, 427, tri-power. I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible. White interior, side pipes, four speed. I mean, talk about, we got Christmas coming up, guys. What do you think Santa would be driving? Would it be a red Corvette with white interior and a white Stinger hood? I kind of think so. I think this fits the bill. So let me show you just how awesome this car is, first and foremost, before we dive into the rest of the content today. And by the way, I'm not one of those channels where I'm going to try to stretch out a whole episode on just one vehicle. We have to move on, but I wanted to spend a little bit of time just to show you how awesome this new car is that came in. And by the way, it's hiding a couple secrets too. If we were to drop that down, you can see it actually has a touchscreen modern audio system. And in addition to that, it has subwoofers and six by nines and a speaker box that's in the rear. It is hidden behind the soft top right now. Um, of course, everything is removable in this car, but it's a nice subtle upgrade that uh, I can appreciate. You can't really tell until you pop that glove box and take a peek, but modern audio that is kind of hidden in there. And I have another hidden surprise and another Corvette that I'm gonna show you guys later, but my question for you guys today is, what is your favorite style of C2 hood? In particular, I love the 67 hood. You can see, let me show it. Let me lower this down for you guys. Just cause it looks absolutely fantastic. So what do you guys think? Comment below, what's your favorite style hood? So you have the later style Stinger hood. And then as we move our way out, I'll show you the other big block style hood that can be showcased on my 66 Moz port here. So let's go ahead and lower this guy down. Always handle the hood by the center, guys. Eh, I, I prefer the Stinger personally, but comment below, what do you guys think? Do you like the Stinger? Do you like the 66 style big block hood? Or are you a fan of just the traditional C2? Hmm. What do you think, senior? What's your favorite? They call that a power blister. I power blister? Yep. Power okay. Blister. It's cool. When you sit in that car, it just makes you, it makes you feel like it's got a yeah. motor. Yeah. Yeah. Nice big bulge in the hood. It looks cool. Yeah. That's my favorite car. That, that Mossport Green, the car here, Junior did. That's probably one of the best, the, the best that we've seen in any recent memory. Mm -hmm. uh, low, my 18,000 mile car. And I know somebody commented, why did we restore it? Well, it was sitting in a, storage container for eight, uh, 32 years. So that's yep. why it needs restored. Yeah, we, we don't need to pat ourselves on the back. We do some of the best work in the world here. Um, and the car came out absolutely well, fantastic. That's so th that's the culmination of uh, yeah. a lot of hard work that's and that's what you get. That's my favorite one. Yep. But let me show you guys really quick something exceptionally rare that I've got through here that I will probably never see again. And I remember when I first started this channel, I actually got an inquiry about this and I made a comment to the remark of, if you can find that engine, good luck, sir, because they are pretty much not available. Well, here we go. 1967 L88, I mean, true L88 motor. So four bolt mains, this is the high, uh, zinc content block. Um, this is, or nickel content block. This is the real deal. An exceptionally rare motor. Let me show you guys all the casting numbers here. High performance casted in there. 
And beyond just having an exceptionally rare, and this is a standard bore, never been bored out block. Um, this thing is ready to be put into a true L88 car or a, a really, really high-end clone. But beyond just having the exceptionally rare block, a set of Winters aluminum L88 heads to match. I mean, this is the package, guys. I don't have a use for this right now. So I am open to taking offers. If you guys wanted to buy something like that, get a hold of me. Um, that is exceptionally rare. I probably will never see a, another real spare L88 again. I can't imagine I would because, I mean, that's a pretty rare piece to stumble upon. New SL came in, new SL, pair of 280s. If you guys want me to spend more time just going over some of the new stuff that have come in, not so much my builds, comment down below. I'm absolutely welcome to talk about anything here. And in addition, another really cool addition, 79 Cadillac with, it's hard to explain to you guys just how long this front end is. When you're driving the car, it's like you're steering a boat. Going around corners, I mean, look at how, I mean, party in the front, right? <laughs> this thing is really really cool we actually had one of these before a black one that was chopped in the center so it was a two-door this of course is the four-door variation white interior sunroof you know just a normal cadillac in the rear and then in the front you've got what seems like 28 feet of hood line really really cool white walls with the Vogues. 67, Gee, did I ever show you guys this? I feel bad if I didn't because this is a spectacular car. Um, I believe it may already be sold. I'm, don't quote me on that one, but 67 Belvedere GTX 440. Holy cow, Super Commando, factory air conditioning. What a really, really beautiful car. I didn't do this build by the way. Just uh, something that happened upon us here. We, we specialize in some of the cleanest classics that you can get in the world, so we, we come up with these things. Look at the paint, how phenomenal. I'm also really a, a fan of this white vinyl top that has the grain in it, really classy. And then of course it matches the pearl white interior. Super cool, super cool. I wish I could say that I built that one, but I didn't. This is the two pair of cars that I introduced to you last week. Our 64 saddle car and our 67 uh, Marlboro. But the Marlboro car was hiding something, guys. I'm keeping in our theme with hidden upgrades here. So if you guys saw it last week, you saw that it had the correct wheels on it for the 67, you know, on 15 inch bias ply tires. But I was not expecting this when I took these wheels off. Set, check it out, a complete set of Willwood, not only the Willwood four piston calipers, the forged calipers, cross drilled and slotted brakes. And they are so close to the wheel, you can see that they actually had to mill the caliper a little bit for clearance. Um, but <laughs> wow, talk about a sneaky Pete uh, brake upgrade. Uh, I was aware that Willwood made this. Not very many people want to opt for this. Usually they feel like the standard uh, Delco calipers do a good enough job on these cars. This gentleman obviously felt like, you know, good was not good enough. So he wanted to go with the forged four piston Willwoods with the cross drilled and slotted rotors. So yeah, very interesting. This one has been pressure wash you can see we have our steam powered pressure washer here so 230 degrees and 4500 psi is how we strip these cars um, you can see the, the little pile of dirt here after it dries we scrape it up and put it in the trash um, but just i mean that was after the third scraping this car and all of them that's how we decontaminate it without harming the fiberglasses you want to use a little bit of pressure not all that much when i say 4500 psi we're keeping it three feet away from the car at minimum and a 40 degree nozzle so it's about as least aggressive as you can get with a pressure washer it's really the 230 degree boiling water that um that does the trick for us so if i'm feeling gifted i'll go ahead and insert a clip right here of senior uh doing the pressure wash on this car so check this out
yeah, kind of interesting. Um, Mozport Green small block is coming together. I know I've showed you guys this car so many times. It's, I mean, what a unique, unique car though to have the telescoping steering wheel, right? And then three-speed manual, dark green interior, which is, I, I hate green cars. I really do. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, but this is like such a unique interior and it's dark enough that I really like it. And of course, you guys know me with the Mazport. I am a fan of the Mazport now. Um, originally, I don't like any, like I said, I'm not just not a fan of green. You get this in this car in the sun, it looks more silver than green. It's just a light hue of it. I mean, really classy. That's a fantastic color, so. I don't even know if I showed you guys this one yet. Um, 66 coupe, white, fresh back from paint, had a complete paint job done. I think we're still pondering whether or not we're gonna do a complete frame off restoration on this one. The body, the paint, everything is, is great. So we're gonna discern in the next couple of weeks here um, if that one's getting a complete frame off. Sean is killing it on the 67, 427 tri-power coupe. Um, you can see that Everything is coming together there. Um, he's making significant progress. That will be a roller in the next week. And then I can show you our 65 has been waiting very patiently for this, a complete parts lot. Um, you can see that we actually have some extra parts here. Usually when I do a powder coated parts lot, I'll throw in some extras just so we have some stuff on the shelf available for customers already rebuilt and ready to bolt on. But yeah, this car came out absolutely fantastic. And I'll get in close and show you guys. Coating Applied Technologies just kills it on this stuff. Not only do they do the best work, but they get it done fast. I mean, they start working on your stuff immediately. I've had problems with other companies that wanna make me big promises and then, you know, I'm waiting for my stuff for weeks. These guys, they get on immediately, they absolutely, do hands down the best quality of powder coat that I've ever seen out of a powder coating shop. Um, so that's why I choose them for all of my work. So good job coating applied technologies. Not a paid endorsement. I just endorse the heck out of them because they do good work. Um, but I see that we're past the 10 minute mark. I don't want to bore you guys. I try to keep my videos short, concise. Um, usually it's a one take wonder as well. I try my best not to say something stupid for 12 consecutive minutes. So I hope you guys give me a little bit of credit. I am by no means a movie star. I just am excited to show you guys what we have going on each week. Got so much cool stuff coming and going that it's like a shame for me not to throw it up on a channel. Uh, but if you've made it this far, thank you so much. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm really excited to show you guys what we've got coming up. So until next time, take care.